I love that song, I'll tell you. <clears throat> okay, so if I were the President of the United States, I would immediately initiate a few things in our society that have been ticking me off for quite some time. First things first, I would automatically ban the use of Bluetooth cell phones within several minutes after I was officially sworn into office. Although I'm not really sure if I dislike the Bluetooth cells more than most of the imbeciles who tend to use them, it probably bothers me a lot more if I'm at work near one of my fellow E's and they all of a sudden start up a conversation out of the clear blue. After a few seconds when I'm trying to comprehend some type of response, it becomes apparent to me that they're talking to somebody else on the thing that's in their ear and not to yours truly. Now, if I got a call on a regular cell phone, I could easily see that conversation coming. But with a Bluetooth cell, the folks in the general vicinity don't really hear any phone ringing, but can't help but notice somebody starting talking, usually without any eye contact, just out of the clear blue. Would it be too much to ask at least, say to your work colleague, excuse me, I've got to take this call on my Bluetooth cell phone. Granted, it's none of my damn business who you're talking to and why you're talking to them. But it's just plain courtesy to give your colleague that you're going to be talking to somebody calling you on your cell phone. Am I wrong on that? Secondly, what about this thing known as the curiosity factor, usually on the highway? That's when somebody just got into a real bad vehicle accident and everybody supposedly passes the accident scene with a basic crawl because they think that just gawking at them will help make the actual recipients in that accident all better. I'd say if you really want to help those individuals, please pull your own vehicle over to the side of the road, get off your fat butt, and go rescue someone from that burning slash up uh, vehicle. By slowing your own vehicle down to about two miles per hour and gawking at the accident scene, sure as heck ain't going to help those accident recipients. As the old cliche goes, either leave, follow, or just get the hell out of the way. Last but by no means least, we come to ignorant people we usually see in supermarkets or shopping malls who either walk backwards to presumably investigate an ad or a product or just stop dead in their tracks without any regard for people directly behind them. As with the aforementioned situations, is it too much to ask somebody to please step aside into the corner of the store slash mall so the regular pedestrian traffic can just proceed as usual? I mean, if I want to study an ad or read a recent text on your cell phone, that's your concern, not my concern. Personally, if I'm directly behind somebody like that, I usually say, excuse me. Then when they turn around and say, yeah, I'll respond by pointing straight ahead and saying, I'm going this way. The other day, one guy got so bent out of shape, he said to me, well, go ahead. Who the hell is stopping you? Personally, I'd much rather have gone through that crap with this guy than trying to pass him by and him physically bumping into me. For all I know, the guy could have AIDS or something like that. Granted, maybe it's a little bit of stretch to get elected president of the United States to initiate some things like this into law. It's just too bad, however, that people can't be a little more considerate and compassionate when doing their business in the general public. I'm Frank, and that's my rant for today. Thank you.